Friends, Panzer Paladin. Inverted Tower, Stage 4. I want to say this is the final level of the game. It's not. It is not. We're having fun. My spirits aren't down. I'm just amazed at how slowly we're progressing across this graphic of an inverted castle. Canals. Here we go. I'm wondering what kind of challenge... Well, we've got, we've got a few options in the menu for after post-game challenges. There's speedrunning. What? Oh my god. It's slippy. It's slip... It's slippy slidey. I did... I had no warning. <laughs> now that I know, we're okay. But... Is that what... Yeah, that's what we have to do. Yeah, check. Uh-oh. You do have to check, though. Okay. We'll do it normal. We'll do it normal. And slow. Alright. Why would they make- why would they- They already have ice. Why is this necessary? I ain't blind jumping into nothing. I'm also not gonna... <laughs> I was going to say, oh jeez. I don't miss any secrets, but... That's... I... Demonstrably false. Also, I have, there have been secrets in the floor, and you can't play the whole game doing this. <laughs> Market research shows that players hate ice levels, where it's all slippy and slidey. Let's make it slime! That's entirely proximity, right? I mean, you have to touch it, or you have to be a number of pixels away from it. That looks fine. I'm going. I'm going to. I'm going to get closer. Nothing. This is a good track. I like the music. These don't have any kind of. Maybe I'll break away or something. Sorry. We're back. The dog was freaking out about something. Maybe she was trying to warn me. Let's make it. Let's make another hazard in the level, in the stage, on the floor. Let's make it also green. I need a spear for that. Ooh. 
Ooh. That's neat looking. I find myself, for some reason, liking the... Just... Oh, misshapen actual weapons. Like, not as much... I mean, I like the goofy stuff, the frying pan and things, but the things that look really cool to me, I've been finding, are swords that are curved weird. Ugh. Oh, God. Mm. Getting lower on health than I'd like to be. So the only kind of health... I never really thought about it, but the only kind of... Besides spells... No, let's use this. The only kind of health you get is when you're out of the ship, you're out of the mech, and you whip that device. Why do I have two lives? I thought you started with three. That's why I put that there. A turtle. I like those. Mm. What? Oh, thorns! I can't even see them! There's that thing down there that heals me. Which means there's a section coming up where I'm supposed to get out of my ship. Which means we're pretty close to a checkpoint mid boss. Midway. Hmm, I don't want that. Nope, you just come down here and... So does that bring you back up there? I just take damage. God damn it! I hate thorns. That hitbox is obnoxious. The difficulty is going up, but in a cheap kind of way. It's okay. I'm okay. I didn't have time. I tried. I tried to parry. Oh, and I clearly wasn't paying attention to my life total. Hey, I need you to do something so that I can get around you. And that, um... You. No? Oh, come on. <laughs> I can see right there. There's a... What do you even do here? Oh, I can't go back. Can't go back. I can't hit a checkpoint. I have to go into the boss battle? Is that what you're telling me? Go back. This sucks. Oh, I know this guy though. Can I can I beat him and take no damage doing so? With no <laughs> no back dodge. Ooh! Just a, a lot of this. Charging. <laughs> oh, I forgot that back kick. Mm -hmm. Oh, 
<laughs> I 100% know that's what would get me. Dang it. Like those. Those are cheap. Because if you're, if you're just not paying attention, they're going to stun you and you're going to fall into the pit. That's a, uh... So that's a one-hit kill. It's a really cheap one-hit kill. I didn't trigger it. Get out of here. And I lost the ship, but no, I still have a ways to go, huh? I'm not even at the thorns yet. Thorns. Jesus Christ. Oh, projectiles. I'm going to try to learn that. <clears throat> Blind. Fall. <clears throat> So dumb. Look at these regular spikes right here. I wonder if they uh, do more damage. Oh, oh, thank you. Again. You guys know what I'm talking about. I mean, I like the slimy aesthetic, don't get me wrong. I'm up there already. This is around where we... I thought for sure I was gonna eat it right there. My HP's at half. Just be prepared for everything all the time. Really, it's on me. What are these skulls? These are neat. Are these three-eyed skulls, or am I just seeing that completely wrong? Mm. Oh, here's why I died. So don't get quite the timing. Don't quite get the timing on that parry. Here's the stuff I wanted before. Thank you. For that extra life. <laughs> Fine, this is super good. Ooh, I have to go back. Same way. There we go.
I did not beat the boss. So maybe I passed the checkpoint without... The first time, I did not lock the checkpoint in. So I fought the guy and I died. Started from the beginning. And he's not here. I don't know. I have no idea. Hmm, that's odd. Oh god! German! What a cool what a cool little section where I have to get around these frogs. Not quite know my hitbox. Ooh, look at that wrench. That's cool. I'm gonna die soon. I'm gonna die soon. I'm gonna die soon. Come on, heal. Where's the heal? Anything with a heal spell. Small heal it is. Um, I got more clearance on the other side, don't I? But let's be completely honest. The nostalgia for like 8 bit retro games and their difficulty is not because they were fair and hard. They were cheap. So, this is all just. All these things that I'm perceiving as cheap, I mean, it's just accurate to the genre. There's actually a lot of quality of life improvements in this game compared to... I don't know, I've been thinking a lot about the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles game because this is all very slimy and underground. He gives very little notice. Fudge! Oh my god, fudge, 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 fudge. If um if I'm supposed to fight that guy, if it, if it were a series of events that I needed to encounter, I could have really screwed the game there. But I bet it was just uh, another just another fight with that guy. of the universe, He-Man holding a sword up. I like that pose. Is this where he died? It was. Did you see that? Still got hit.
I didn't even see what that was. I mean, I saw. It was. I was already like in progress of doing what I was doing. That I realized I was attacking a a block that can only be defeated by a certain kind of weapon. I just happened to swing that weapon. Oh! What do I do? Hey, man. Oh, jeez. I'm lining myself up for a parry, and then he brings that lightning thing down, which I think I cannot parry. I can't learn. And by the time I do learn, the stage will be over. Give me all of it. I'll take everything. Look, I learned! I learned! I did learn, though. Alright. We're good. Swinging. With an enemy on the other side. Drop. Come on, man. It's fine. Why is it? What is happening? Back and I'm rocking it back and forth. And it's oh, it's bouncing off of that. Screw that. Get out of there. Get out of there. Oh, one hit. Strange. I can't see. I can't see how he's... <clears throat> I do a lot of damage there. The boss. You're not gonna take me to another part of the stage? Hmm. Is this really what I gotta do? What are you doing? What are you doing? Just real quick. Wait. I got I got lives. I got lives. We're learning. I got him down to half without knowing what I was doing. We got this. He looks cool. And I gotta reach him while he's down there. With certain. <laughs> Trade blows. What? 
Ah, pô. Uh oh. Oh, não. Where is he? Come down. Oh. This isn't fair. I mean, it's not hard. Luckily. Oh boy, every time, every time we fight a boss, and it comes down to me outside of the mech. That's why I really like this game. It feels really friggin' good to finish that off in such a manner. <laughs> Stage four in the books. Let's see what this path takes. Good God. Just the windiest. All right. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out, guys. I'll see you next time in the catacombs. Bye.